to the adventure in Pennsylvania on W4CY. Radio. 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 Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest who is not only an amazing musician, artist, but just, I mean, everything they do, it's the music, it's the its the visual, it's the, uh, the cinema, it, it's the artistry, it's everything, it's Mr. Lordy. How are you? Welcome oh, to the Adventures of Pipe Man. I, I am good now. No, you're being way too kind. You're exaggerating a lot. <laughs> well, no, thank you for that. Well, I can <laughs> tell you after looking at your la- latest video, Dead Again Jane, I don't think I'm exaggerating at all. What an amazing video. And tell Jane? us a little bit about it. Oh, that... well... It's, it's a music video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what can I say? I well, it's a, it's a video. The, uh, you know, I wrote it and I, I you know, directed it, uh, edited. It, it's uh, it's like uh, I wanted to do a video where, well, it, it is supposedly like like an eighties cable TV horror show. You know, and and and, and it, it's it, uh, they're showing a nineteen thirties nineteen thirties old like universal horror movie or something you know of course not real universal horror movie but i like lord and fight version of like a 30s horror movie and that's basically that's basically it and and i got a kick out of the whole thing you know of doing like two different styles like the, the, the 80s cheap cable tv style and then also the 1930s like black and white bill muck up and uh, that's that's pretty much all I can say about the video. It turned out great, I think. You know, at least you know, at the moment it feels like really good. But but then again, if you ask me in three years, I'll go, oh, it didn't come out that good. Yeah. But now, at the moment, it feels you know that it succeeded in every possible way. So yeah, it's a. But it, the funny thing about this is that that I heard there are comments um, when when. So young people saw that, and I understood something really strange that young people today they don't even understand the concept of television, since there is like this old that the video opens with this announcer saying that okay we have this uh, next up in the, in the program we have a sorrow show and la 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 after that this and after that that so some young people didn't understand that it's you know like an old cable TV show but they don't have the concept of that they don't understand it so. They actually thought that on the day of the release of the video that there will be something else coming up later, you know, some other music video. So it, it just, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, I, mean, I guess you have to be in your, at least in your late 30s to, you know, get that. I, 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 get, I, I guess, you know, because it just, ah, oh, but, you know. Uh, I'm, but then again, I'm I'm one of those guys. You know, I, I've never been in social media my life in my life, and you know I don't I don't really I I still live in the eighties and that is you know in my bubble in my head. So well, but well, you know, I already it, forgot what what you were asking. You were asking about the video, but I'm just babbling. Whatever. Yeah. Well, but those were the greatest decades. They were the greatest decades, weren't they? I mean, listen, I uh, you know. So I, I, I got it. When I saw the video, I got it immediately. And I think we're missing today a lot of that art- artistry that went on before we had all this technology. You know, you yeah. have to be a little more creative, yeah. you know. And, yeah. And I think it made things better because 
I don't know. So, some things I think of, it was better when only experts knew how to do it because when exactly. anybody can do it, then yeah, it's not as special. Yeah, and it loses its charm. It somehow, yeah, the magic somehow, you know, is gone. One little detail of, of uh, from from shooting the video, from the video shoot was was that the, you know there are young people, not that young, but younger guys, you know, in, in the film crew, and and I I'm a film film school graduate from the from the early nineties myself, and in the last twenty years I haven't been you know really you know directing myself or doing anything. Not really, you know, letting other people do it. So, so at the shoot, it's funny when I, when there are some few of these like trick scenes, and I'm I'm coming from the old school way of doing things. So, so I I try to explain how are we gonna shoot shoot this scene and how are we gonna you know set up this you know this this frame and blah 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 blah. And they were like, no 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 no, let's not do it like that. Said, no no no, we'll do it the old school way. But I'll just you know. I, I used the modern technology, but let's do it the old school way. And and uh, it was so funny because they had no fucking clue. Those guys that what the hell is this, this guy has left this fun that it's not gonna it's not gonna work like this. And then we're like, oh oh okay, it works like oh okay, you know. So it's 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 exactly what you said. That like like today, like CGI is something that you still see. I I mean, you feel it that it's not actually. It was not captured on camera. It was done digitally, digitally afterwards. Yeah. And I, I feel that any kind of trick or effects that you want to have should be in front of the camera in real life, in reality, so that it looks more real because it is real because it's it's there. It's it's physically there. But if you do something like with, with if you do everything with computers, sure you can do it. But there's something that is missing because it's not there in reality. And I don't know what is it because it's hard to pinpoint where you can see that it's fake, that it's done by computer. But yeah, you, you, well, you know what I mean. It's, 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 well, hmm. you know what it is too. Like even in like audio, digital in waveforms misses the mids it's only highs and lows yeah. in the right. mids which give it like the depth is what yeah. it's missing yeah. yeah yep i also think that you know a lot of these kids today they don't I, I, the part they're missing is the foundation like you and i grew up in a time where you had to like actually learn how things worked <laughs> Opposed to just pushing a button. Even when yeah. it came to, like, computers, you know, you couldn't use a computer unless you knew how to do the commands. You couldn't yeah. push a button and, and it did stuff for you. Yeah. And yeah. I, I yeah. talk about that all the time because I think about it. It's like, without knowing what makes all this technology work, I think you're missing part of the equation when you're mm -hmm. creating. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, I I agree with hundred and ten percent there. Yeah, and it, it and, and it's with everything. Yeah. It's with yeah. everything. Oh. I mean, yeah. it's like like look, yeah, it's everything. Yeah. No doubt about it. Like I was thinking about when you were talking before, even video games. Like I'm a gamer, but I played video games at a time where you didn't have cheat codes and you didn't have all these things that made it easier to play the game. You actually had to use your brain and figure out how to beat the game, not read some magazine. Right. <laughs> right. And I, I tell you how old school I am. I, I don't think I've played a console game, like a video game, in my life like not like nope i'm a pinball machine guy and i'm and, and i mean physical real pinball machine so <laughs> i for me the the time when you were playing with computers it takes back you know in the mid 80s and, and the people who had computers and they played with computers you know at the games of that time you know those, those were the nerdy kids yes <laughs> yes you know and and, and, and for me to you know the today's reality, you know, with, with, with everybody having games and everybody you know use computers all the time. I I just I just don't it's really hard for me to you know get into that 
world. I well, I don't have to. I, <laughs> but you know, it's yeah, funny. You're not so like, right. What, 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 it's 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 just yeah. And and funny thing, I but some some people coming over and 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 play with you know play with my pinball machines. This was like I don't know year ago or something, whatever. And and there was this younger guy who said, yeah, 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 I, I played pinball. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. And then, then he said, <laughs> then he actually started playing. And, oh, this is so great. I've never never seen this in real life. Said, well, you said that you played pinball. No, 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 no. Not, but, but not like the, the actual physical pinball machine. Oh, like, man. Uh -huh. uh, oh, this is completely different like this. Yep. <laughs> it is different. You know, it's, real. it's so uh, funny that you mentioned that because last night I was at my daughter's apartment. We went to the game room in the apartment complex and I was so excited because they had a pinball machine there and oh. and, and it was free to play. So I was sitting there playing. My daughter, my daughter was getting mad at me because like she wanted to take a picture or something. I was too busy playing the pinball game. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, it'll suck you in. Oh yeah, let you out. Absolutely. Yeah, you know it's funny. When I was a kid, my goal in life was to own an arcade, and I thought it was gonna make me like the biggest thing since crushed ice. By the time I became an adult, that wasn't such a good thing anymore. <laughs> It's, it's based on the same thing you're talking about because everybody had these home consoles. Like, even when we had yeah. co consoles back when I was a kid, you couldn't play the act and the video games that were in the arcade on a home mm -hmm. and console, you know? Yeah. They find it's the same with music. It's like, you know, there's the good and the bad. Nowadays, it's great that anybody can be creative and create music. But on the other mm -hmm. hand, for me, who's old school... I'd rather them be able to create music being musicians instead of pushing a button. Right. <laughs> One of the most infuriating things that I've heard from a mouth of a colleague, I don't, yeah, and I, you know, I don't, I don't really know if I, I, if I should call all these guys colleagues, but it's like hip hop rap guy in Finland. Who said that? Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a musical person at all myself. You know, I, I, and he's huge. You know, that I'm like you know, Finnish celebrity guy. And he, he in an interview, said that no, no, I'm not. I'm not musical person at all. I just you know do hip hop. I rap. You know, and and it's so easy to to do the backdrops for the music. And, and he's he's like he's super duper famous <laughs> and he's super successful. And he wow. is a musician. He's earning his life. He's earning his, you know, you know, his money. He's making, you know, I, I, in music. But he says the first thing he says that I'm not a musical person at all. I don't know anything. Oh about my music. god! I don't play anything. I don't play. Any, I don't understand anything. I, I just, you know, put together these, you know, the computers do all the work, and I just, you know, rap on top of that. Wow! Yeah, it's like, 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 I, I, I people are like, oh, right, cool. He's a cool guy. I and mean, like, I, why, 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 what's wrong with this picture? I was like, come on. No, like, you like that, you, that really encouraged me. That's like, you know, it's just like, come on. Yeah, it would be like, like if I if I would have no legs and I would say, yeah, I'm, I'm running a marathon. I'm, <laughs> I'm all right, you know, I'm an athlete. Well, that is definitely where Lordy differs because you guys are musical geniuses and it's not just the music, it's the whole art. That's what I love about it. It's so old school to me where it's not like you do everything. You do the music, you do the singing, you do you do the video, you do the, the artistry and it's all, to me, it's all the complete package. The artwork, yeah. the music, the visual, yeah. all that stuff. So everybody definitely has to check you guys out, and they definitely have to check out the new album, Scream Writers Guild. And yeah. so how does everybody check you guys out on on the web, check out the new music, get the new album? I know it was released on at, at Atomic Fire Records, so give us all the intel. Ah, well, 
beaten. So what can I say? He was sold the intel. Well, it's 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 actually our 18th out of 19, depending on the way you you know how you count it. Though, but it's uh, yeah, kind of like back to the roots kind of an album for us. I tried to because we we've done well, like I said, 18 albums or 19. You know, are you caught it? We've done quite a lot of different musical styles and genres, you know, within our own framework, so to speak. But 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 this time I wanted to do like really standard classical sound of the album. That the music is really like eighties influenced okay hard rock. That that's what it is. I love it. I love it and you guys, they can check you out at lordy.fi and on Facebook, Lordy Official, Instagram, Lordy Official, Twitter, Lordy Official, YouTube, Lordy Official, and I definitely recommend checking out the videos because they're awesome. And then they, you could go to atomicfire-records.com, Instagram, it's Atomic Fire Records, on Facebook, Atomic Fire Records, and Twitter, it's Atomic Fire Right. So, Mr. Lordy, you are an absolute incredible artist. Everybody needs to check out the new album, and I thank you for giving us such great music and creativity, and thank you for being the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you. You're way too kind. But but I'm not saying that you're wrong. (laughs) (laughs) And you know I'm You are right. You're right. (laughs) Love it. I love it, and we'll see you again. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.